So, you're probably watching this video because you're having trouble connecting to Forza Horizon Live matchmaking um, or other Xbox games. Um, yeah, a couple of my friends had this issue and I had it too for a little while, uh, but I managed to find a fix which fixes it most of the time. So, step one you'll need to open up Control Panel and go into Network and Sharing Center change adapter settings um, whether you use Ethernet or Wi-Fi um, just choose the, uh, the one you're using right click properties and then you'll see Internet Protocol version 4 in this list here just left click on that one once go into properties again and now yours will probably look more like this now what you want to do is open up a CMD window, so just go start, type in CMD, press enter, and you'll want to put in the command ipconfig, and this will give you a whole bunch of different numbers. Um, the one you're looking for at the moment is your IP address, so you're looking at this one at the moment. Just right click, or uh, rather select it, and then control C to copy, paste that in there, now this field will be uh, filled out when you just left click like that and your default gateway that's just this bottom number here and you may have another number above that um, but yeah just worry about this one for now uh, just put that one in there and then your preferred DNS server will be 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 which will point to Google and then you've got 1.1.1.1 for the alternate, which is, I believe, Cloudflare. And then once you're done, you go OK, close. All right, and that was the first step done. So let's move on to the second step. Don't close this CMD window. We'll need it uh, for this second step. So next thing to do is go into your router settings. So to do this, look at your default gateway. Just copy that number there paste it into your browser, just as I have it, have it open here, and your admin password to access this page will be back on the back of your Wi-Fi router. Um, you may have a username and a password, I've just got a password in my case, uh, so I'll put that one in. Alrighty. And then you'll want to go to the port forwarding section of your router. Now this may be in a different spot for you, this, may, this page may look completely different to you depending on what router you have. I have a D-Link. Have a look at your router manual to see where that uh, menu is located. Now you're going to need to have a look at the ports that I'm about to put in. So I've already done this already. Uh, so these are the port numbers. So you need port number 88, which is just UDP. And I'll show you how to do it just for example. So you go add rule. Uh, say you're doing port number 88. Uh, I'm just going to call that uh, 88 just for the name. Now your local IP, that is the one we found earlier, so that's your IPv4 address. So you copy and then paste that into the local IP section. And now because this port is only UDP, we'll just put that in the UDP section down here, so 88. And we've done that already. Uh, so for an, another example, um, say we're only doing a TCP one, so port 80 for example, we we'll might call that port 80 on the top. Uh, and it's the same IP every time. Um, basically, this is just your computer. Uh, so, we'll just put that one in the TCP section as opposed to the UDP. Uh, and then for the ones that say UDP and TCP, just put the number in both of these sections. Your router may just have one field and then like a drop down that you can select from where it says either TCP or UDP or both TCP and UDP. Um, if you've got questions about this, just put it in the description below. Okay, once you've done that, make sure you click save, otherwise they won't apply. Um, and it's also a good idea after you've done this to give your router a reboot as well. So you can either do this through uh, the management section in your router, uh, you can reboot it through here, or you can just unplug it from the wall and then plug it back in, uh, basically gives the same effect. So, last step is to run this little tool here. So it's called uh, IPv6 Fixer, that's just what I've called it. It's just straight off of the Microsoft website, I will put that link down in the description as well. So the tool came from this page. Um, basically what it does is it makes your computer prefer IPv6 over IPv4. Um, 
for some reason, Forza Horizon likes IPv6 better. Um, so you basically just have to tell your computer to use that instead. Um, it's pretty easy to go through. So just to start again, uh, double click. Next. Uh, next. And then close. Uh, give your computer a reboot once that's run through. Uh, and yeah, give Forza Horizon 4 a try. See if you can connect to matchmaking or your friends. Um, any questions, just leave it down in the description below and I'll be more than happy to answer. Thanks for watching.